Hey guys, it's Krista. So today I want to talk about my regrets with going natural and the truth about the big chop. So let's just get right into it. So sometimes I get questions about whether or not I regret going natural. Um, I do say that I'm lazy a lot and that doing your natural hair is a lot of work and it really, really is. Um, but I also believe that going natural gives you a very different perspective on yourself. Um, so I know a lot of people are like, you need to accept yourself, you know, as you are and um, stop trying to be all these other things. And when you're natural, um, it really just, it really gives you a doorway to look into yourself and to look into who you really are. And you know, it is, it is really just hair at the end of the day. But if you're like me, then that means you grew up with relaxed hair. Um, I don't even remember ever being natural when I was little. Um, I'm sure I was, but I don't, I really don't even remember when I got my first relaxer sometime before I was in kindergarten. So before I was five years old, um, so being natural is really a doorway into like self and speculation and spectacation. Um, I hope you guys understand what I say. Like y'all already know I'm not the best with words. But for me personally, um, it really gave me um, more insight into myself. And being natural in America um, is definitely a new trend trend um, and the per like personally the reason I went to go natural is because one I was not happy with my hair and I was not happy with the way it looked I was not happy with anything about it and until I didn't I didn't ever know that going natural was an option um, I just knew that having when my hair grew in and when my hair started growing in when I when I needed a relaxer like that was bad because my hair was kinky and it was unmanageable and you know I need to get another relaxer so my hair could be straight um, so I really didn't know that going natural was an option until I started watching YouTube videos um, and I saw all these women with like this huge beautiful hair and I was like wow like I want that like I want that and I tell people that my goal is to literally just have like the biggest fro like ever like that is my ultimate goal is to just have like a huge ass fro um, so when I first went natural um, which was four years ago I don't think I was mentally ready to go natural I don't think I was mentally ready to cut off all my hair but I also knew that I wouldn't go natural unless I did something dramatic like cutting off all my hair. I knew that I was not somebody who could transition for a long period of time um, just because I know myself and I knew that wasn't going to work and I think when I first did the big chop um, that I did regret it and I did regret going natural because I mean, my hair was probably not that my hair in the back was probably up to here and then my hair in the front was a little bit longer. Um, like I said, it, it, it wasn't that way because I cut it like into like it was like a little kind of bob thing like that. Um, it was that way because all my hair was breaking off and my hair wasn't healthy. Um, and it was very hard losing all your hair, especially as somebody who um, I, I still got compliments. When I was relaxed, I got compliments on my hair. Um, it was nice and flowy, but it was also very damaged and very broken. Um, and it was hard for me to go natural the first time. And I think I do regret doing it before I was really ready, but I also was ready for a change. I was going through a lot um, at that time as far as like the relationships I was in um, were not that great. and. Um, I, had, I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression and things like that and I was ready to be new and to be um, to start new and so I think the first time um, I went natural I did regret doing it just because I don't think mentally I was ready I wasn't ready for the amount of work that I was gonna take to be natural and I wasn't ready 
for the dramatic physical change that it was going to do like appearance wise like I looked so much different um, and I wasn't really ready for that um, so I think when I first went natural and first in Big Chop, I did regret it. Um, and I think that is what led to me doing multiple Big Chops. Um, if you watch my um, natural hair story, I Big Chopped three times. And each time it was because I wasn't satisfied. Um, and now I realize, and I feel like a lot of other people who are like attempting to go natural or in the process of growing out their natural hair, feel like if their hair is not the way that they expect it to be or if they want it to be, if they big chop again, then it's gonna fix all of it. Like their hair is gonna grow out and it's gonna be different hair. And I wasn't necessarily big chopping because my hair was damaged because it wasn't. I was big chopping because I didn't know what else I could do with my hair and I wasn't taking care of it correctly and I just didn't know what to do. So I thought, okay, if I big chop again, Maybe my hair will be the way I want it to grow out next time if I use these products or use these products. But at the end of the day, my hair grew out. It was the same texture every single time. Um, and I really wish I would have like thought about why, really why I was big chopping. Um, and it wasn't necessarily because of my hair. It was because of myself and because I wasn't satisfied um, with my hair and with how I looked and... Um, kind of a lot was going on with my life so I'm just like okay if I start fresh again maybe it'll be right this time and my hair never changed it never you know grew back any differently like I just said um, but forcing myself to have the patience to grow out my hair and to learn about my hair um, definitely changed me personally um, it changed my thoughts about what I'm using on my body what I'm using in my body I'm not saying I'm the healthiest person ever um, but I have definitely been more conscious of what I am using and the things I'm doing because having healthy hair was my number one goal and when I started paying attention to how I was treating my hair I started paying attention to how I was treating myself um, and to be completely honest I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there it might not be but I feel when I was in bad relationships and when I was um, dealing with anxiety and depression, my hair was just not growing because I didn't have the mentality to take care of it. And growing out your natural hair is definitely something um, that you have to prioritize because it is a lot different than having relaxed hair. It is a lot more work. It is a lot more of, of a commitment and since I've been in like a very healthy relationship um, especially over the past year that I've been with my boyfriend and he loves my hair and it's just when you get those positive vibes um, and you get all this all this positivity coming it makes it a lot easier um, and to be honest until I accepted my hair until I accepted myself how I was I wasn't getting those positive vibes not because my hair was bad or because um, it looked ugly or anything like that is because I didn't accept myself and people saw that when they looked at me they're like oh you know like you know when you get vibes from people they're just like you know like a little off um, and it's not really anything like blatant you, you sort of just feel it like I was giving off those vibes like yeah I'm not you know like I'm ugly don't talk to me and even though I wasn't saying that out loud it was a vibe I was giving off and I you know I still got compliments on my hair but I definitely couldn't accept them because I didn't think that I deserved them because I didn't think that I looked good um, being natural after being relaxed for so long and after being natural this long my opinions about myself and my parents and um, just how I feel about myself in general has 100% changed I know for most people, um, or not even for most people, for some people going natural is not like this big you know self like it's not this big experience but for me it definitely was because for me going natural was signifying like a new chapter in my life and before I went natural for the last time um, I wasn't ready to start that new chapter because I hadn't dealt with the previous things in my life that need to be dealt with before I could really start fresh like I wanted um, so I just want to put that out there. I have decided that growing out my hair was something that I wanted to do because I want to push myself. Um, 
I used to have very long hair when I was little and um, I was also I was obviously doing a lot less less to it and then when I got older I started doing my own hair and it started breaking off and falling off and I was like you know what like I just want to be me and the Krista that was me in high school and even the beginning of college is not the Krista that is me now um, I've definitely 100% changed and I have become more confident and personally I think this right here is hands down my favorite look like the bigger the hair the better I feel about myself um, and that was definitely not who I was before before going natural and being natural has definitely helped me accept myself for what I am like not only in my hair aspect but in my you know full body aspect um i had body image issues for a very long time and i'm not saying those are all gone but i have learned to accept myself for who i am because going natural has given me a doorway to look into all these other aspects of my life that i wasn't really considering before um so yeah that's all i have if you've been considering going natural um or if you have been considering big chop um, before you big chop definitely ask yourself why am i big chopping is it because i want short hair big chop is it because i want to get rid of damaged hair big chop if it's just because you're not happy with your hair definitely hold off um and really really ask yourself why you're doing it because if you're just doing it because you're unhappy um chances are you're going to regret it so that's just my opinions from my personal experience um i 100 i'm a 100 percent advocate for going natural um and if you asked me in high school i would have been like i don't want like large nappy hair like that that would have been my mentality and now i'm just like yes large nappy hair please over here over, over here i want more like please give me more um so it, it's definitely a journey um and it's definitely worth it so if you're thinking about going natural please please like for me it has been one of the most eye-opening experiences um and meant so much to me more than just hair so that's all i have for you guys today i really just want to share these thoughts with you because i really just want to inspire other girls and um, people with similar hair textures and people with different hair textures that accepting yourself and being natural is it's just so awesome and yes i wear wigs and weaves and things like that because i am lazy okay and i'm not trying to do my hair all the time but my ultimate goal by wearing those things is to have an even larger afro so you know you sometimes you gotta put the afro away so in the long run your afro can like be even more popping you know what i'm saying so yeah that's all i have remember to follow me on snapchat at pretty little fro and like my facebook page um for like extra pictures and behind the scene things um all the links are going to be down in the description box below and i'll see you in the next one